Hello everyone, it's a bunch of flowers in a vase. You could make it for Mother's Day or if you made it in red flowers you could make it for Valentine's Day. Um, or you could just make it for, as a gift to say thank you for somebody who's done something really nice for you. Okay, let's get started. So in addition to all of these items that you're going to need, you're also going to need three pieces of coloured card which measure approximately three centimetres by 20 centimetres length and also three straws. These are to make the stems and the coloured card is to make the uh, petals of each of the flowers. As well as that you will also need some scraps of green card. You'll probably need about five or six of these and they just need to be cut into long lengths like uh, reeds of uh, grass. These are the leaves in the uh, some foliage in the vase. First of all you will need a piece of A4 coloured card. This piece of card is your background. The first thing you need to do with the background piece of paper is halfway between there you need to put a hole either side. This will make it so that you can hang it up and you do this with a hole punch or you can do it with a hole punch that you would use for uh, A4 paper. So once you've got that, with the length of string that you've got, just pop the string through the holes and tie it at the top. This is so you can hang it up when it's finished. It also shows you that that is the top of the paper. The next thing that you'll need is your coloured paper or your patterned paper. And this is A5, which is half the height of the background piece. You need to fold this in half that way, along the longest edge. So. Just fold that in half and you can see that this is uh, then going to be folded again to make the shape of the vase. Make sure that you have the open side, the open end, at the top for this next piece because you need to make a pocket for everything to sit into. So with the plain piece of paper and the open end at the top, you need to fold in from the bottom edge about a centimetre and a half and take it up towards the top so you've got about a centimetre at the top. So you've got this diagonal uh, line. You do you need to then do the same on the other side so that you end up with that shape. Now this bit you may need to watch carefully. From the bottom of that point you then fold it up again to about a centimetre and a half and you do the same on the alternative side. This bit is what you need to put the glue onto and then you stick this onto the paper so that it's flat onto the backing paper. Position it towards the bottom of the page. This then creates a pocket for you to put the flowers into. Once you're at this point, you can put this to one side and then you can concentrate on making the flowers that go inside the holder. So in order to make the flowers that go inside the holder, you will need some scraps of green card to make um, leaves and a couple of straws. doesn't matter if they're paper or plastic straws, um, doesn't matter what colour they are, they could be stripy or they could just be plain. So you need to cut these approximately to about an eight inch length 
um, and the same with the uh, pieces of grass although you can trim them if they are a little bit on the long side you will also need to have some lengths of card which are about 10 inches long um, and this you're going to fold in half it's about probably about three centimeters wide um, so three centimeters wide by uh, 10 inches long okay so all together you're going to need three pieces of what colored card you could use paper as well if you prefer okay so in order to make the petals for the flowers we take the length of this and we fold it in half lengthways now this is going to make sufficient petals to go onto one flower if you then fold it in half again that way and then from this you're going to cut some heart shapes out now I can do it freehand but you may need to draw them on first so look for the edge that is folded because that's the edge that you're going to cut towards so we just need to cut some heart shapes When you've managed to do that, you should have enough petals for one flower. So that's one petal, two petals, and you can see how it all assembles. Okay. Do that for the other two pieces of paper as well because you're going to have at least three flowers. You can put in as many flowers as you like, but I'm just demonstrating how to do three today. So once you've got all those components there, you now need to assemble the flower. So taking one of the straws and the crit stick, put plenty of glue on the end of the crit stick, on the end of the straw. Then you need to pop on your first petal and you can press that down quite firmly. With the next petal, at the pointy end of the heart, put a bit of glue and then place this on top of the other heart. And you continue to do this all the way around the flower. So take a little while and be patient and eventually you will be able to assemble three flowers like this. Okay, the next thing to do um, is to put the centre of the flowers in or you could use pom-poms or you could use um, small buttons or you can use sequins. It's entirely up to you which ones you choose. Okay. So I think on this occasion I'm going to use the um, buttons. So there are your flowers are completed. The thing to do then is to move those to one side and after they've dried completely, if you bring back your uh, piece of paper, your backing paper with the vase on, you simply slot each of the flowers into the gap, into the pocket. Pop them in like that. And then to add a little bit of greenery, just with some slips of card, green card. Now you can actually make these curl a little bit if you 
just with your fingernail just run up the length of the card and then these get popped in to the bars as well and there we have it it's almost completed so if you wanted to make it really special you could actually decorate the backing paper as well uh, or you could write a message of you know to who whom you're sending it to but there we are that's quite a quick and effective little bouquet of flowers that you don't have to go out and buy you can just make at home and give to somebody who you really cherish i hope you've enjoyed this um, there are plenty of books in the library if you want a book on crafts please get in touch with the library um, and we can actually um, sort something out for you. You can take up to about, well, we can put you a bag together of five books. So if you are interested, as I say, just phone the library up and we can sort that out for you. Have a very happy half term and uh, enjoy whatever you're getting up to. Thank you. Bye bye.